I was very afraid of what, of what was going to happen. Both afraid if I ate, what would happen, and afraid if I didn't eat, what would happen. But I was in a dilemma. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. My family was very important, but it was all both important and sort of down to earth. My grandfather had started the main newspaper here, the Raleigh News and Observer. The paper became very important and the editorials that were written were extremely important to, in our family. My father was valuable because he wrote. And my f grandfather was valuable because he wrote. They had published books and they were publishing editorials every day. I really believe that my parents married because my father knew he couldn't love my mother and that she would control him and that she married him because of his warmth and cruelty. In our family, it was very hard to get taken care of. Girls weren't worth anything. Girls weren't worth anything. My mother's praise was as bad as my father's criticism. She would praise me as perfect in the way that would make everybody hate me. She was praising me as really the son, even though I wasn't. I have to write. I can't get along without it. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I don't, but I have to do it. They hospitalized me in April 1951, shortly after my 17th birthday. I was five feet four inches tall and weighed a little over 50 pounds. I always knew time was running out when the doctor jammed the cotton rolls inside my mouth and positioned the Vaseline lathered pieces of the metal headband on my temples. All were prelude to the moment of plugging me into the black box and blasting my brains to nothing. Again and again and again until the days were inseparable and the terror constant until the brain, person, protoplasm of me had hopelessly disintegrated. I know things from being locked up with, with mental patients that a lot of people never know. I know what real craziness is. I, uh, I, I know what it is to be locked up. These are not things that are valuable, but at the same time, I think they've made me appreciate other things since. <laughs>